According to the Bible, who is Jesus Christ coming to save? Everybody. Everybody? Now, is that what you truly believe, or is that what you heard? I, I have no idea. Man. You have no idea, right? I, from, a, from what I heard. From what you heard? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, let's read this real quick. Go ahead. Jesus Christ were to walk the earth. How would he look, like, skin color-wise? What do you think? Like, probably pretty fucking brown. Yeah. Pretty brown? Yeah. How, how brown? Like, he... Who got sold? Yeah, sold. Yeah, sold. Who got sold? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> he said, he said, that's the freaking Bible. He said, that's the freaking Bible. Yeah, it says sold. You shall be sold. Who got sold? So that means that the enemies of the black and Hispanic men are who? White man. White uh, man. Ah, white man. Ah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. What did you say, so? No, no, 100%. 100%. I don't disagree. Yeah. Sakari. 1715. Yeah. On them street corners yelling out, where the BCV? Uh -huh. Ain't no John Cena nigga, cuz you can come see me. If you ain't an Israelite, then you ain't kin to me. And if you don't come from Jacob, nigga, use an enemy. That's right. On them street corners yelling out, where the BCV? Ain't no John Cena nigga, cuz you can come see me. If you ain't an Israelite, then you ain't kin to me. And if you don't come from Jacob, nigga, use an enemy. Christians, they just mad because the Gentiles going in slavery. Mm. Boy, you don't know no Bible, you know nothing about sociology. Uh. Look, just sit back, I'ma put you on eschatology. The way that I've been studying, yeah, I know the most. Proud of me. All right, first and foremost, we'd like you for all praise, honor, glory to the Most High God, Yahweh. We do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah, the world called Jesus Christ. We're back out here once again to prophesy the downfall of America. We're the Hebrew Israelites coming to you week in and week out to preach repentance to our people, so called blacks, Hispanics, Native, and Seminole Indians, who they are according to the Bible, and that is the Israelites. All right, God shows the people. Right, to the white man, the so-called white man, that he's the devil that the Bible speak of. That's right. right. Right, and his kingdom is going down the drain. That's right. Right, as we see these different nations rising up against the so-called white man, right? right? I'm about to send nukes over here to America. Why? Because of all the wickedness that's going down here, right? Let's start. Where you at? Yeah, 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 good. Yeah, let's start there. Go ahead, bro. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 61, verse 1. Right. The Spirit of the Lord of God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. Right, and what is that? What is the good tidings? Good tidings is dealing with the gospel, man. And is the gospel meant for everybody? We're going to see. Go ahead. He had sent me to hey, bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives. Right, to proclaim liberty to the captives. Who's the captives here? Right, let's grab that in Isaiah, right, where it says, um, um, snare, snare and holes. Right? Who is here in captivity in America? Is it the so-called white man? Is it the so-called, you know, those who we can't say? Right? The people who own all the banks? The people who own the entertainment industry? Are they in damn captivity? Hell no. So-called black, Hispanics, Native, and similar Indians, we're the ones that's in captivity. Matter of fact, hold that. Let's get Baruch 3 and verse 8. Baruch chapter 3, verse 8. I think that's Isaiah 42 and, uh, and like... 24. Let's get that real quick. Baruch 3 and 8. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 8. Yep. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. That it says, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Go ahead. Where thou hast scattered us for a reproach. Yeah, for, yeah, for a reproach, right? Because anytime these other nations see a so called black or Hispanic man, what they say? Oh, there goes them niggas, right? They don't even say there goes the black man or brown man. They say, oh yeah, there goes them niggas, right? Yep. Or if you go and move into a so-called white man's neighborhood, what they say, ah, there goes the neighborhood, right? Because our people are a reproach according to what the Bible say, man. Right? Go ahead. And the curse. See that? And the curse, right? Because hey, really, our people can't prosper. Now, a dumb nigga will say, oh, well, you got LeBron James, right? You got uh you got Michael Jordan, right, man? You got some black millionaires. <laughs> You're right, bro. Matter of fact, you know, you, do you know what the Bible calls that? The Bible calls that crumbs, right? When you read the parable of, of Lazarus and the rich man. That is, that is crumbs. Right? That is nothing compared to what 
the condom hats have, right? I'm talking about the condom hats, they're sipping on trillion dollar, uh, trillion dollar wine. <laughs> something that you wouldn't, something that you would never heard of, yep. right? Yep. <laughs> on, on, hey, on, lending you money. Right, lending you money. Right, on, on, a, on a yacht somewhere, or on a private island. You ain't never, you ain't never heard of the island, right? And our people, go ahead, bro. What's going on, brother? Heard about the Israelites before? Have you ever heard about the Israelites? What'd you say, once or twice? How you feel about it? Or, or like, you don't really know too much about it? So we're teaching that our people, so-called blacks and Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are the true people of God, right? Because we grew up all, all of our life hearing that we just niggas, we just black, we African Americans, but we truly have a true nationality, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly, we're the true Israelites. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, brother, right? Which is, uh, uh, all right, brother, which is like, when you break it down, Yashur, Yashur Aliyah, meaning that he's the prince of God. Right? We're princes of the most high. But well, read that again from the top. Go ahead. I can't wait till this damn bug out die or something, man. You know what I mean? Her ass is annoying. Go ahead. This is Baruch chapter 3, verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for reproach and the curse and to be subject to payment. Right, and to be subject to payment. How, how many so called blacks and Hispanics is living paycheck to paycheck? Right? Can't afford, can't afford a damn thing. You gotta go to damn Greens Point to live, right? Where's them shootouts every every single day, right? Can barely afford food. Send your kids to good schools. You, you're subject, you, you're subject to payments. Damn, near all of our people's in damn debt, right? Why is that? Because the heavenly Father sent us here to serve slavery, and so that we can get the hell up out of here. But niggas think we're gonna be here. For damn eternity, get that in Hebrews, uh, in Book of Hebrews, where it says where they seek a, where they seek a better country. All right, because we seek the kingdom of heaven, man. We ain't trying to be here for too much too much longer. But you got niggas walking up and down the damn street in Houston, Texas, smoking a damn vape like a damn homosexual, right? If you're a grown ass man smoking a vape, you're a damn embarrassment, bro. Imagine that, grown ass man. <laughs> 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 he damn vaping, right? Wearing some tight ass jeans. Think it's crazy, bro. Hey, what's going on, brothers and sisters? Have you ever heard about the Israelites? Why so called blacks and Hispanics are the true Jews of the Bible? You ever heard of that? Okay, cool. Well, repent and keep the commandments of the Most High, right? Prime example again, you know, our people just want to walk up and downtown, up and, up and down downtown, not caring about the word of the Most High. Right, because if we was to ask them about geopolitics, right? Hey, what's going on? Hey, hey, what's going on in the world? They'll probably bring up something about Offset and damn Cardi B. Like that's important. That's not damn important. What's important is the Mossad sending the missiles out here. That's important, right? What's going on, y'all? Do you know that America is about to be destroyed? Yeah, his ass know that, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, have a curse night. Have a curse night, Tom. America's done. He said, "Like you or not like you." No, he said, he said, uh, he said, he said, he said, "Have a good night." Hey, man, the American Edomite's finished, bro. Matter of fact, uh, um. Shalom, shalom, I'm your boy Yaquab, man. Your friendly neighborhood Yaquab, and we back at it like a bad habit. We back, we doing the work. You know, we got a lot of stuff rolling. Y'all make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe to the videos. It's important. It's extremely important that y'all like, share, and subscribe to the videos. We get thousands and thousands of views, and it's always 100 likes, 200 likes. Man, you niggas like the video, man. It's free. Click a button. Like the video. Lord, have mercy. We said this. Hey, man, listen. Shit, unless you've been living off the rock, we got a record label. So tap in with the record label if you want to see all the hot music. Music you heard on the intro. Hey, if you want more, follow Space City Records on all social media platforms. And also follow our Instagram, Safari Space City. With our Instagram, that's our best way to keep in contact with brothers. You know, we post shorts. You know, you want to catch location. Sometimes we might have to base them live. So make sure y'all follow our Instagram and also all our social medias as well. Besides the door, Shatar. Hey, man, we also got a TikTok. Space City, Sakari Space City Israelites, okay? Follow the TikTok, like, share. We got shorts, all types of wisdom stuff coming out on there. All right, Shalom, the priest, Nakawam, right? 
Niggas need to repent. In fact, right? Keep the law, statutes, and commandments, right? Give your tithes and offerings, right? So that, you know, we can travel and do more for the camp, right? Like the brothers were saying, we're doing this for y'all. Continue to, you know, strive for the kingdom, all right? All I want. Oh, what's going on? You have a question? No, I'm just curious what's going on. Uh -oh. And we teach the Bible. Uh -oh. Okay. Do you guys believe in the Bible? A little bit. A little bit? What you know about the Bible? Not much. Not much? Okay, so were you raised a Christian? Well, yeah, I went to a Christian school. What's your ethnic background on your, on your dad's side? It was uh, white. You're white? No, but like, what kind of European were you? Oh, German. you German? Yeah. Uh, were you raised Catholic? Uh, or just a like regular Lutheran. Christian? Lutheran? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, according to the Bible, who is Jesus Christ coming to save? Everybody? Now, is that what you truly believe, or is that what you heard? I, I have no idea. Dude. You have no idea, right? Uh, from, all, from what I heard. From what you heard? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, let's read this real quick. Go ahead. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. You're going to have him read it, and then I'll ask you to explain it, all right? All right. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Now, Christ said, I am not sent, but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. What do you think that means? Someone who's lost? Like... Read it again. Read it again for him. Nice and slow. It's in Matthew 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent. I am not sent. Christ said, I am not sent. Go ahead. But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Basically he said, only came for the lost sheep of the Israelites. What do you think about that? What do you think he's saying there? I mean, does, does that have like, anything to do with us? <laughs> so basically what Christ... Oh, okay. Is it him literally covering the Israelites? Uh-huh. It comes down to, I, I'm just asking, you know, but it sounds kind of like it, right? It's, it's, so, uh, Christ said he only came for the children of Israel. So oh. Nothing to do with us then? Are, are you an Israelite? Well, then no. That means that you're not going to get salvation if you're not an Israelite. Because salvation is only for the Israelites, according to the Bible. What do you think about that? I thought it was all people, so I have no idea. Yeah, that's what you thought, though. But that's not what the Bible say, though. That's what I'm showing you. The Bible, and what, see, see, the Bible has been convoluted for years, right? We translate like five hundred times. I mean, we're not talking about the translation because that doesn't really matter, right? To a degree. We're talking about the message of the Bible. The message of the Bible was what? Christ, Jesus Christ is a so-called white man. Do you believe that Christ is white? No. No, right? No. But that's what we see or have been seeing depicted for years. Yeah, yeah. What color would you, if Jesus Christ were to walk the earth, how would he look, like, skin color wise? What do you think? Like, probably pretty fucking brown. Yeah. Pretty brown? Yeah. How brown, like, you? Could we like, like, brown, like brown like this or like what brown? Like, I'm not trying to be racist whatsoever, but like darker skin color. And, ah, uh, see you know what I'm saying? But what have we been taught or what have we been seeing that for years? Fuck. That he's white, yeah. right? Right, 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 right. Exactly. So that's the same. So, so that's the same thing with salvation. We've been taught that Christ is coming to save everybody. He's just going to come back and he's going to hug and kiss everyone on, on, on the cheek. But really... He only came to save his people. Okay. Read that in Matthew. You had Matthew. Uh, yeah, let's get that. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 1, verse 21. You know? And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. See that? He's coming to save his Ah, his people. What that mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so is that a? I might be saying this wrong, but that's um, like is Jerusalem people, right? Yeah, exactly. You know, Jerusalem, it comes down to Israelites, right? So now the question is, who are the Israelites? Now, who do y'all think the true Jews are? Like, like, do do you think do you think the people that's in Israel right now? Do you think they're the true Jews? I mean, I mean, if they're Jewish, but I also feel like over the last couple of hundred years, no doubt things have they kind of fluctuated. The like, yeah. oh, it's probably not the people he was talking yeah, about. Yeah, it probably right, isn't right. now. Why do you say that? Well, why do you guys say that? 
It's a culture change. Huh? I mean, just culture change, I guess, in general. But where you from? Where you from? You have we're a, from you have California, a baby. You're from California. Yeah. From yeah. where? The Bay. Uh, no, we're right, near Sacramento right. area. Oh, right. Sacramento. Ah, okay, okay, yeah. okay. You are, right, you are. All right, all right. I appreciate it, brother. Sacramento. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, and Jesus, is a, so a culture change, like you said, right? Hundred yeah. percent. Okay, 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 cool. Okay, cool. Now, let me go ahead and ask you this: Did you know that Israel was declared a state? I mean, once it all got divided, yes. Okay, so right. when did when did Israel become became prominent in the earth? I, I couldn't tell you. I'm gonna be honest. I believe it's the year 19, 1948. Okay. Right? That's when Israel was declared a state. Here, these are the true people of God, right? But the Bible gives an accurate description on who the Israelites are, right? And where and where they and where they would be. You see what I'm saying? So what you got? Let's go to Deuteronomy 28, right? Now, let me ask you this. When you think about the African-American, what is the first thing to come to mind? Be honest. African-Americans. Historically. You want to say it? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Slavery? Slavery. There boom, we go. Right? Boom, boom. Now, what if I can show you slavery in the Bible? Go ahead, bro. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Yeah. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Right. So the Bible says that God is going to bring the Israelites, the Jews, into Egypt on a ship. The Jews were slaves in, in Egypt. Right, right. Okay, good. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. The Jews were slaves in Egypt. But this says, I will bring you, I will bring you again into Egypt with ships. Now, when you wait, now when you take a look on a map of ancient Israel and ancient Egypt, it's in, it's in close proximity. You don't need to hop on a boat or a ship to go to Egypt. So this has to be talking about a different a different Egypt. Let's get Revelation 11. Now, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 exactly. But this is talking about a spiritual Egypt because depending on the context, when you read the Bible, um, you can apply physical you you can you you can apply things physically to something spiritually and vice and vice versa right like for example some people call america sodom and gomorrah right why is that because of all the homosexuality that take that goes down in this place right but is this literally sodom and gomorrah no some historians and scholars call america ancient rome but is this literally ancient rome can i go and find uh herod somewhere no, but because America takes on the same traits or attributes as ancient Rome or as Sodom and Gomorrah, people call it that. Well, same thing with Egypt, right? You got that right, bro? Go ahead. So, so this is the book of Revelation chapter 11 and verse 8. Right. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Yeah, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. America can be can be can be spiritual can be spiritual Egypt, right? Because matter of fact, who has a dollar on them, right? When you take a look on the back of a one of an American one dollar bill, what do you see? Just go ahead and take out your dollar bill. All you see, you see the White House and uh, you see the White House. But what else you see on there? Pyramid? The pyramid. Ah, what if that pyramid goes back to Egypt? Egypt. And you also had the eagle on there too. What goes back to Egypt? Now, what is that doing on the back of an American $1 bill? Why is that there? <clears throat> they're telling you. They're telling you, bro. It's right there in your face. This is also Egypt. So let's read that again. Deuteronomy 28. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 6. You know? And the Lord... 68. 68. So like and the Lord shall bring thee unto Egypt again with ships. With the ships. Now, who's renowned or famous for going on slavery on a ship? What? No, no, like, who was known for going into slavery on a ship? Like, who went into captivity or slavery on, on a boat, on a ship? People? Huh? People? Yeah, people. Okay, good. Okay, good. Go ahead. Go ahead. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. 
and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Who got sold? Yeah, sold. Yeah, sold. Who got sold? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> he said, he said, that's the freaking Bible. He said, that's the freaking Bible. Yeah, it says sold. You shall be sold. Who got sold? A so called African American, not just so called African Americans, Native Americans, Seminole Indians. Yeah. Right, the so-called Puerto Rican man, yeah. which back then they were called the Taino Indians, they also got sold, right? They got taken they got taken to Spain. Yeah. Right, and they got sold to the Spanish, right? Before the black man. Yep. Before. Yeah, before. before. Right? Go ahead. It used to be sold, go ahead. Unto your enemies go for bond men uh -huh. and bond women, and no man shall buy you. For slave men and slave women and no man shall buy you. Now when you go into the Hebrew, the Hebrew for buy means to redeem or to basically free. Why is that? Because we had activists, different leaders like the Puerto Ricans, they had the Young Lords, right? They were a group that tried to liberate Puerto Ricans and Blacks. Didn't work. Blacks had Malcolm X, Mar 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 Martin Luther King, Marcus Garvey. Didn't work, right? Why is that? Because we're waiting on who the work of Jesus Christ to come and save us, right? So-called Black men. And it says you gotta be sold to your enemies. So that means that the enemies of the black and Hispanic men are who? White man. White uh, man. Uh, white man. Ah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. What did you say, so? No, no, 100%. 100%. I don't disagree. Yeah. Right. So, boom. Oh, hold, hold, hold that. So, what do you think? Okay, so matter of fact, let me go ahead and, and let me go ahead and ask you this. How did, how did, how did America gain Independence from Britain. War. War. Yeah, so, how do you think blacks and Hispanics should gain their independence from whites? I mean, it was through war when they got their independence. So you saying you know? we should go to war with you? No, I don't. I don't think you should. I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't think you should. I don't think you should. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, saying with the Spanish, uh -huh. like, this, like right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying think? with the Spanish back then, they fought for their independence and uh -huh. they won. And that's okay. how it went down. Like, do you okay? So let me go ask you this: do you, Do you think that we're still in like a in like in a form of a form of slavery now? Huh? I think I think the U.S. is definitely racist when it comes down to things. Like, okay. You know, do you think like, blacks and Hispanics? It's not 100 where it should be. Uh huh. Do you, you know? think? Okay. So let me go ahead and ask you this: Me and you, right? Yeah. We went to the same college, yeah. right? For the same major. Right, and, and let's just say I did I did better than you. Let's just say I, I'm more qualified than you, but you and I go apply for a job. Who do you think is going to get the job, me or you? I'll have more opportunities. You're not wrong. No, but who do you think will, who do you think will get the job, me or you? Probably me. Probably you. Why is that? Fucking cultural this this uh, appreciation. That's because this is your uh, kingdom, right? Um, America. Was literally built. Well, I'm not too sure your nationality, right? I, I'm very white. Oh, you're very white. I'm very white. German, bro. To be oh, honest okay, 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 yeah. okay. Right. Yeah. So, um, America was literally built for y'all to succeed. And you know what? We're not even mad at that. No. Because we know because the Bible because the Bible literally told us that, right? This America was set up for y'all to succeed. But guess what? America is going down the drain. Can y'all see that? Are y'all looking at geopolitics? Not wrong. No, right? You're 100% right. But why do you think? Why do you think America is I sitting think down a drain? America is very diverse right now. And on like, I mean, from like political standpoint, especially, but I don't know. Like, I, I feel like, like our government kind of sets us up to kind of battle one another, but. You know, well, it, 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 depending on what, like, exactly we're kind of talking about on that, and I apologize if I'm not on no, that boat, but, but I feel like the government, kind of how they run things, it's, mm -hmm. it's almost like a separate, kind of set it up they that. try and, like, divide it, man, like, ah, in my opinion, it's kind of how I kind of look at it. A house, a house, a house divided, so the Matthew 12 and, like, 45. Well, yeah, that is true. That is true. I think it's Matthew 12 and 45. But I'm going to tell you another reason why. It's because y'all or your ancestors oppressed the children of Israel. That's why. Which we are the children of Israel, so-called blacks and Hispanic Native chart? Americans, huh? What's, what's oh, this chart. So this chart, this chart is the twelve tribe sign, right? This is the twelve uh, uh, tribe sign. This, for the most part, tells you what tribe 
the Israelites belong to, right? So you see how we got the African Americans labeled, labeled labeled as Judah, right? We got the uh, we, we we got we we got the uh, Caribbean. We have the uh, we have the Commonwealth and Dutch Caribbean labeled as Benjamin, right? Those would be the Jamaicans, Trinidadians, etc., right? Okay. The Haitians, they're the Levites, right? Mexicans, they would be from the tribe Issachar. Now you're wondering how the hell did y'all find that out? Are these historical like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, cause remember, Jacob had, Jacob had twelve sons, yep. right? Well, who is it twelve? Yep. Right. But then you had Joseph, right? He had he had two sons, Ephraim and Manasseh, and they all make up the twelve tribes of Israel. And each 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 nation out of out of Israelites, we come from so like a, a, like a specific tribe. What you mean? Like everyone came from there? Huh? Like everyone like branched out from there? Um, I would, I would, I would, I would have said, I would have said that because, I wouldn't say that because we didn't really, we didn't really become a nation until like we went into Egypt. You see what I'm saying? So, like eventually, when we got freed out of Egypt, or we went ahead and conquered many nations, and then we established our own thing within the land of Israel. But you always had our people living outside of Israel too. Because really, like, being an Israelite is predicated upon your patrilineage. lineage. That's why I asked y'all, what is your, what is your, what is your nationality according to, according to your father's side, right? Because I know it's a whole big thing in America. Oh yeah, uh, um, a females or women they're the creator of life. BS, right? We all know that the man carries the seed, plain and simple, right? That is science, right? I, 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 I could never have met my dad a day in my life, and I can take on the same behavioral traits as him. Why? Because I literally came from him. Genetics. Exactly. Genetics, all those things, right? Right, so, again, Jacob had, Jacob, Jacob had Simeon, Jacob had Ephraim, Jacob had, Jacob, had, Jacob had Manasseh. We all come from those patriarchs, okay. right? Those men. You know what I'm saying? Well, what would you guys call yourself, like, religious-wise? Like? So, we wouldn't say religion, right? Although, and it's like religious in a way, but it's not. This is our, this is our culture. It's, it's an ethno religion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ethno, uh, yeah, ethno a religion. Like fluid, like. What you mean, fluid? Like you guys take like multiple religions. No, 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 no. So when you read the Bible, okay. So when you think of the Quran, okay. what do you think of? To be honest, I don't really know much about the Middle East. I don't know. Okay, how about how, how about how about how about Buddhist? What do you think of? Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Right, that's their culture. You would say. Okay, good. When you when you think of the Bible, what do you think of? Uh -huh. What else? Christians. Oh, okay, good. Okay, good. Why is that? Because of the false message that was that was put out there or that was propagated for years. Really, the Bible. Let's get um. Let's get Leviticus. Let's get Leviticus. I believe chapter 26. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 26, verse 46. So, in out. a nutshell, this is what the Bible is. Go ahead. These are the statutes and judgments and laws which the Lord made between him and the children of Israel. So, so the Bible is that as laws, statutes, and commandments that the Most High made with the children of Israel. That's what the Bible is. A set of laws, statutes, and commandments in history revolving around the Israelites. So really, this is a cultural book. Really, nobody nobody should be reading out of this book or even have accessibility to this book except for the children of Israel. Really, because this is because this is a book, a cultural book that the Israelites should be following. You know what I'm saying? Just like how every nation, they have a set of rules and guidelines that they abide by. Well, so does Blacks and Hispanics, Native Americans, although, you see our people running amok here in America, that's because we don't know, we don't know who we are. Right? If, if I was to ask a black man his nationality, what would he say? He would say that he would say that he's black. But he's not the same color as your shirt, is he? Exactly. I, I see East Indians darker than me. But they don't call themselves black. They call themselves, oh yeah, I'm an Indian from Kerala or Bangladesh or whatever, right? That's what that's what they would say. They know their culture. Our people don't know their, their culture. I would say I'm an Israelite from the tribe of Levi. 
That's what that's what I would say. Now, of course, I can't go and write that on a job application because they're gonna say, "What the hell? What the hell is that?" Right? But really, in true actuality, I see you as African yeah, exactly. Which really, I'm not even. I, really, I'm not. I'm not even. A, I'm not even an African American. My dad, my people's actually go, actually come from West, from from uh, West Africa. But you know, I just blend in with these guys. You know what I mean? <laughs> right? But I would say that I'm a Levi. I'm an Israel. I'm an Israelite from the tribe of Levi. That's my true nationality. Okay, what you got? Yeah, let's get that. Watch this. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 4. Look it out. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage and that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. Oh, yeah. That's the point. So the most I said, I will have you discontinue from, from the heritage which I gave unto you. That's talking about the Israelites losing their nationality. Because I don't know if you've seen any slave movies. Matter of fact, the most famous one, Roots, right? You see, we seen the slave master whipping, uh, whipping Kunta back, and he kept saying, "Call yourself Toby, Toby, right?" And he kept saying Kunta, but eventually he just gave up and said Toby. He had no choice. Yeah, exactly. He had no choice. So there, from there, he got Americanized. So let's just say he had a, he had a kid. He's gonna call his kid, I don't know, John, right? Yeah. He, he's not gonna give himself an African name. He gonna give himself an American name, English name. Exactly, it's gonna go on for generations, generations, generations. Now that sea line has been Americanized. Same thing with our people. Came over here, or some of our people went back to went went to Europe, became Europeanized. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why. So, so that's why we're out here to to to, to spread alertness to our people. Like yo. Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you think should happen to the Europeans for for what happened to our people? What do you think should happen? Let's get, let's get Exodus twenty one and sixteen. What could happen? What could happen? Ah, uh, now, now you say that you say nothing is going to happen. Why is that? Well, why do you why do you guys say nothing is going to happen? Because like, yeah, be, be, because, because the government is where they're at, and I feel like that's how they've been running. So, so many years, yeah, so many years have done, so many years have done went by, and yeah. blacks and Hispanics still haven't gotten anything, right? 100%. Shoot, I remember uh, back when Asians were getting hate. Man, they got money, they got money and everything, but shoot, laws blacks and Hispanics, yeah, yeah, laws passed for them. Blacks and Hispanics, we've been experiencing hate for years. Most people say 400 years, but damn near 600 years. And we haven't got anything. Exactly. So that's why I said that. Y'all say that. But something is going to happen. Right? Who the world called Jesus Christ, the so-called black man, is going to liberate us from our enemies. Right? We're going to read this. Go ahead. Hey, y have y'all ever heard of Nat Turner? Nat Turner. You never, you never heard of the movie Birth of a Nation? Birth of a Nation? It's, it's a slave movie, man. Y'all should watch it. Go ahead. Yeah, the movie. It came out like in 2016. Let's read Exodus 21 and 16. Watch this. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 21, verse 16. You know? And he that stealeth the man. So the Bible said, he that steals, he that stealeth the man, go ahead. And selleth him. And selleth him. That sounds like this. That's how this is. Yo, man, he can't believe that. Bro, he can't believe this in the Bible. He can't believe that. Read it again. And he that stealeth the man. The Bible said, he that steals the man, go ahead. And sell it him. And sells him. And that happened to us, right? Hey, where he's scratching his head. He's like, damn. Go ahead. Or if he be found in his hand. Or if he be found in his hand. Meaning what? If he's still in the power of, 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 of those people, right? What should happen to them? He shall surely be put to death. The Bible says they shall they should die. But something is gonna happen before y'all die. Because that's gonna happen. Sorry, O's. Um, what's your name? Taylor. Taylor and I'm Connor. Who? Connor. Connor? Yeah. Yeah. You good brother. Very white. All right. Yeah. Very white, man. Hey, hey, Irish, listen, hey, listen, man. Y'all cool and all, yeah. right? Y'all cool. Well, in front of our faces, because you know white people get around the dinner table and <laughs> it up, right? <laughs> Y'all cool, right here, in front, of, in front of our faces, right? But. You guys are going to have to go into captivity, slavery, because what y'all did to us has to be done to y'all. Now, 
What did y'all say? That's fair? Ah, that's a hard pill. Yeah, that has to be a hard right. pill to swallow. That's a, that's a hard question to ask. Yeah, I know, I know, you know I know. I, I literally no right feel answer. like everyone should be treated the exact same. And don't get me wrong, you can argue on probably all the same. We all in that same, like, that time period. Yeah. No, like, it's different, man. We're I not in that same grand, time period. Our uh, yeah. grandparents oh, you're right. Love, you know, let's get, it's, um, like, it's hard. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, Real quick, let's get let's get Ecclesiastes 3, 3 verse 15. Now, have y'all ever heard of that saying, forgive and forget? Yeah. Not in the Bible. <laughs> not in the Bible. Forgive and forget is not in the Bible. God actually re requires that which is past, right? Now, I now I tell you a quick a quick example, and I will read this. Now, when the Israelites were freed out of Egypt, we had to pass this nation called the Edomites, which that's your nation. You ask for Esau, you Edomite, right? And they came out, and they came out with swords trying to kill us right now we just go ahead and pass on years later right i'm talking about maybe like two maybe like two three hundred years later the lord told a prophet of ours i remember what the children of esau did unto you when 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 uh you left egypt when you was trying to cross by their borders exterminate them so god remembered that he said hey listen i remember what, i remember what they did to you years ago and I need you to go ahead and take revenge on them. So God, he hold grudges. Prior to it, uh, contrary to what people may think. God, he holds grudges. Big grudges. You got that, bro? Ecclesiastes just a grin, verse 15. That which hath been is now, and that which is to be hath already been. And God requires that which is past. God requires that which is past. So although slavery was almost 600 years ago, God still remembers that. And he still basically just put it in uh, modern day terms, he has to get his lick back. You, you, you heard of that before? He has to get his lick back. Because God, we are God's chosen people, right? So let's just say somebody come up and punch Taylor. What you gonna do, man? You gonna come up and punch him back, right? You ain't just gonna let your, exactly. Exactly, well the same thing God God in Christ is, is, going, is going to do with us since people harmed us, they're going to harm uh, them who harmed us. Um, hey, bro, we, we got, we got okay, okay, okay. Read that Isaiah 14 before they go, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. we got it. Hey, we appreciate the message. Okay, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and yet choose Israel, and set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined to them, with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captive. And they shall take them captive, go ahead. Whose captives they were. Whose captives they were, go ahead. And they shall rule over their oppressors. That's what the Bible says. So whoever took us captive, we're going to hold them into captivity, what the Bible says. All right? Definitely over my mind a lot, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no problem, yeah. no problem, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Taylor, Connor, all right, y'all. Yeah, 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 man, no problem, all right? All right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, thanks, man. Yeah, man, we're going to keep doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some, it, it, hey, hey, man. Those some good boys. They wanted a good boy. Hey, they wanted a good boy. Yeah, yeah, they wanted a good boy. All right. Be inside the house. Yeah, it's going to be inside. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he a love master. Yeah, man, he, man, he love master already. <laughs> We on top, it's your lights, no we never gonna stop Prophecy, that shit hot, Yasharala, never flop Money growing like a crop, what up heathens, like a mop Seek the kingdom, it's a must, we sipping wine, take a shot He just be bitches, they know that we with it Scriptures be cutting, they never be missing Follow the laws, I don't do no sinning We never losing, you know that we winning Mixing up doctrine, we don't do the blending Read it verbatim, we don't do no twisting When I was in the world, I was fucking on hella girls And you know I was tripping But now I'm keeping a loss, peace with the wave, I'm not talking jaws I see a 60 it's coming real soon, they better get ready, we making them crawl Living my brother, not the fuck with y'all Go to the mall, we having a ball Luke 21, 24, by the sword, it Say we gon' fall Yank yeah, quiet, be bringing it out Faith in the law, we never get doubt Jeremiah 16, purge the rebels, we be seeking them out Niggas be bumming, they purple for cloud Run through the smoke like a cat to a mouse Lift up that voice, the readers gon' shout Talk inside ways, get banned your mouth So car, we not playing no games Niggas be just just to get fame They talking down, niggas be 
should be ashamed You were the ones to blame But with this edification, renewing your mind Let's go for a change Pulling low to the float When you worry about a hoe Bring it